Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Ascent. Today, we are making our way over to the Cosmodrone. Uh, we're doing this mission for Poon still, and that's pretty much our main objective. We already went over to the High Street area. Uh, we spoke with Noghead. We went to the Cove, and, and now we're making our way to the Cosmodrome. So if you guys do enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more if you want some more Let's Plays of The Ascent. And for now, we're making our way there. Um, thank you everyone that has been checking out all the previous videos too. You guys have been awesome so far. I see a lot of you checking out the uh, first one and second, which is pretty much why I decided to come back and uh, continue this here. And man, this this has been so worth playing. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm mainly playing it because it's part of the Humble Bundle, but I know it's been on Game Pass for a while too. Okay, so we might be getting into some trouble in a second here. Yep. And look at that. First kill, we level up. Very good. Oh no, is my drone like stuck? There he goes. Now he's better. Still really reminds me of the ability, the bionic ability from Mass Effect. If we run into a gunsmith today, I should probably check out and see if I can upgrade my weapon or not. Okay, since we're right here, let me see if... I don't know if we can take this anywhere closer, but we'll see. The gut, the node, uh, that, so it only takes you in the area that you're currently at. Yeah, we're over at Thams Gate right now, and Cosmo Drone's down there, so. I guess we're not taking that route, which is fine. How is there so many hostile guys here? Oh man. That was a good hit right there. I kind of feel like this is what like Luke Mancer was going for, but for whatever reason, it it uh, just didn't really nail it fully. Now I didn't get too far into that game to to look at it fully, but definitely like the the combat style for this one more. And I mean, this is technically technically open world, so it's not just one mission, one area. It's like you can select and do whatever ones you want. This side scroll action right now is pretty cool too. Not gonna lie. I was getting too nervous at first that the game was gonna be too difficult. But now that we do have these upgrades and I'm about to die, <laughs> of course. The one time I say that, I'm like a second away. Yep, I died. 
But in all seriousness, that's the one thing I was I was actually legitimately worried about, especially after like the first episode. Like there were some times where I was legitimately struggling to like, get kills. Um, I do have at least one upgrade available. I know that. I probably should do that. HMG42 Dominator. I think I need to get a reload speed. This thing does take it a few seconds to reload. The shotgun. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I do want to. Oh wow, we have four of these right now. Really. Wow, we have four PPWs now, too. Jeez. HMG Dominator. That's the... So that's separate from the ride gun. Is it still a shotgun? Oh, no. It is a ballistic machine gun. And it seems like it does a good amount more damage than... Than the PPW. So I'm going to equip that. Still stick with the ride gun for right now because I've been really... Uh, enjoying this gun so far and the dam uh, that's why the damage is six five hundred and sixty three So that makes sense <laughs> Cool, um, all right, that's what I meant to do. I was trying to do my regular upgrades skills Let's do uh, Associated with max energy Max health. Determines amount of tactical charge gained for damage inflicted. Go one and one. Boom. And that way we're also getting a little bit more. Uh, none of those. What is this? Did he kick her? Oh, cyber deck. Okay. Let's keep going. Attention. Transport 742B is undergoing a rapid refueling for a high priority departure request. Let's get set. Jeez. We do get a little bit of frame rate issues here and there. Nothing too crazy, but it definitely happens. I've also noticed whenever I'm starting some of these videos that some of the frame rate also like just freezes for the first few seconds. Oh man. Nice. All right, that was kind of cool. That thing really just picked everything up for me.
Oh man. Jeez. That was a little rough right there. Okay. At least it brought us back here, which wasn't too far away. is not doing that great right now whoa okay that scene That was that was that was, that was pretty cool. That was that was pretty cool. <laughs> we made it. Please tell me this is like a, a safe place. Access refueling regulator below pier and override nominal high pressure flow to sabotage the engines. Excuse me. Sabotage Malhorse split gelb carrier. Override sequence. Accessing fuel valve regulator. Access denied. Contacting Noghead. Contact established. What? You want me to stop the ship? Let's see. Those fueling protocols got some thick ice, but nothing I can't handle. Thank you. <laughs> Locate the missing scientists aboard the carrier. All right, well, it's not going anywhere now. Scanning. Index located in holding pens on deck three. Okay, let's see what we got here. Boom, boom. <laughs> no, oh my, what the? Ah. We, uh, got obliterated there. I literally just walked in, man. I just got here. Let's give it another try. Interfacing with 
Come on out, everybody. Initiating icebreaker. Uh-oh. All right, everybody out. out to the MG Minion for an explanation, but he's locked himself onto the bridge of that transport and won't answer my pings. Go grab him for me, will ya? Poon out. Access the ship bridge. Lock mechanism set to boarding defense mode. Patch cannot be opened from outside. Suggestion, find other means to breach hatch. Jeez, man. How about that? No? Okay, that doesn't work, I guess. Life support control. Back to Poon, awesome. Damn. Ah, welcome. If you'd have just accepted my call, we wouldn't have had to drag your ass all the way here. <coughs> Go fuck yourself. Come now. What was Melhurst Gell planning to do with those indents? I don't have anything to say to you. Talk to my superiors. <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You seem to have misunderstood your situation. You see, you're officially listed as deceased in a refueling accident at the docks. I can keep you here till you talk or flatline from exposure. Whatever you prefer. Leave him here. I'll update you later. Okay. Made it back to cluster 13, not bad. MG rep. A new friend, level 10. Awesome. Really getting some levels now. Okay, let's see. Let's upgrade a little bit of, wait, did we get a bounty? We did, we got that big one back there. I, I think, I think he was a bounty. And let's go a little bit more health and energy up. Can't do anymore. Okay. That works though. What's this? In shirt ascenders. Reception. Boom speaking. Me and the rep are done. Gotta take some time to clean the upholstery. I got your ass back here. We got work. Oh, that was quick. Empowerment. Speak with stack boss poon. I will in a second, sir. Let me just check what we have. Oh my, oh my. Oh, that's a rocket launcher. Wow. Tactical, we got an EMP grenade now as well. How do we, do we get any of those kills? Overcharge kills, no, we didn't get any yet. Destroy the mech. Some of these missions are like level seven-ish. We could knock out probably. Double charge and that. Send it to the deep stink. Armor. How about this? Whoa. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. You get head and upper body, but everything else you don't really have. Let me see what it looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> Even that thing looks pretty cool. What was I wearing now? I forget. This? I think so. I think it was this vest.
Okay. Uh, let's go down here. Sure. What is this? Forget. I will go back up there in a second. Let's try going over to the bartender, hand in our bounties. I mean, honestly, I probably should have gone another way first because. If you got any bounties. Yes, I have one. That's high profile, asshole, you wasted. Got Not really, though. I mean, he can't nice be that high profile if he only has a 1,000 credit thing on him, right? I don't think so. What is this? Oh, we can't go in there. We can't go in the Coco, man? Aw. Oh, this piece of gear right here. Basic component. We'll go back in the up there in a second. Let's chat with Your this person. Your crew's errand runner, aren't you? Got an errand for you. Yeah? Great. So this is what, Gift? Need you to find a kin of mine. Last seen in transit to them. Yes, of course she's dead. She's dead. And her fur buttons head. Okay, so basically wants me to find a body. Bubble trouble. Got it. All right, we're here. So here's the deal. The AGI is still quiet. Amazing as that is. Rival CGTs are already coming into the Arcology to pick the bones clean. We have a chance of true independence here, but we have to act faster than an amped out feral before some enterprising CGT gobbles up our cluster and our in dead contracts with it. One of the bulb heads you rescued from Malhor's Gelb claims we can funnel energy covertly from the old Takamak down in the deep stink. He says we have a small window of opportunity to do this now before the reactor is appropriated by some other corporation. I'd rather control the entire Takamak, but we have nowhere near the know-how or equipment to do a property grab like that. You need an AGI for that kind of thing. But if you do this right, the new owners won't notice our little arrangement. I'm not fluent in tech lab, but enough to say that this will be a tricky feral to tame. The bulb head spoke of installing a double redundancy board through the Takamak ice, soft and hardware. So you'll have to do this on site. The new owners can't know about the board, or they'll shut it down faster than another orgasms. We can then use that energy to bolster our automated security systems. I already have a code jockey reworking schemata to allow for that. And let the CGTs come. When the turrets are done, we'll scavenge their stiffs for all. Now the bulb bed is just that, completely worthless for anything outside a lab. I want you to handle the practical side of things. Get that Takamak working for us. Questions? Done. Good. <laughs> okay. Well, we got our next objective. Uh, let's go down. Oh, wait. The exit's down here. So go to the reactor facilities is where we'll head next. So uh, it's actually not too far from where we're at. That's good. Let's see what we have. Uh, looks like there's an item right here. No, that's still that same one that I can't reach. Hyper vendor, what you got? Uh, nothing worth getting yet because everything is so freaking expensive from him. Go to this one here. Where's the party? 
for gear. Actually, let's do some selling first. There's one hat, two hat. We just went from having like 12k to now having 36. So not bad. I, I really can't complain about that. Okay, let's see what we have. So I think everything right now we're using the rebreather, which is fine still. Uh that's not too bad, but it doesn't give you any bonus stats. Same thing there. Harness. Eh, a lot of this stuff kind of same thing. I do like this chest plate though, and I, I wouldn't mind bopping to that as my um, whatever thing's called, uh, d -d 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 transmog. All right, I'm gonna hold on to my cash for right now. I do need to go to the weapon shop and the gunsmith though. Wait, which one is the gunsmith? It might be, oh, I think it's the one that is underneath me. Go down here. There they are. Okay, it is that hammer. Anything that's little. Yes, yes. Weapons, riot gun. I would like to upgrade my riot gun. Fantastic. And you know what? Let's do it again. And then now we're going to upgrade the dominator like twice. We'll do it three times. There we go. 751 and then this one does 239. Not bad, not bad. Awesome. Okay. Well, I think right here is actually a good spot to stop for today. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it, subscribe for more. Let me know if you got any suggestions at all for the future episodes. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate everyone that's been stopping by from episode one to or just joining us now. It really helps me out. And leaving the likes on the videos lets me know what series to continue. So really, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe for more. And uh, I know two time right there. But for now, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.